Hey, what's up? This is Mikey at Blue Mikey Bicycles, and in this video, we're going to talk about throttle versus pedal assist. All right, so first up, both throttle and pedal assist engage the electric motor. That's their job. And neither one of them have anything to interfere with the mechanical drive system or the pedals. You can still brake, switch gears, steer, and pedal the bike without any interruption from the electric system. Throttle and pedal assist use different physical functions to perform the same thing, which is to ask for the controller for more energy to be sent from the battery to the motor. That all makes sense, right? The purpose of both throttle and pedal assist is the same, which is to move the bike forward using electric power. The difference between the two is how the rider interacts with the system. With the throttle, the rider uses their hand to twist, press, or flip a switch to expressly engage the motor, just like a dirt bike or a motorcycle. In this case, the pedals are actually completely optional. You can literally sit down, twist the throttle, and get the bike moving. The mechanical drive system isn't negated or halted by the use of a throttle or a hub motor, for that matter. By changing into an appropriate gear, one can still pedal to keep tension on the mechanical gearing and help the bike along to go faster or up a steep hill or just to get a workout. When the rider lets go, the throttle springs back to the off position and the bike will coast. The amount of power can be adjusted by either a light or a heavy twist of the throttle, but I myself, I just go full power. Pedal assist works a little differently, on the other hand, or the other foot. With pedal assist, instead of the electric system being given commands by the throttle located up by your hand, the motor is told what to do based on commands given by your feet. The purpose is to replicate as closely as possible the natural pedaling movement of a conventional bicycle. This has the effect of the rider feeling like they have super strong legs. With a little effort, the bike goes really far, really fast, and up really steep hills. When the rider stops pedaling, the bike will coast. Most of the time, the amount of assistance can be adjusted with a small little LED or LCD screen up by the handlebars, but I myself, I usually go full power. All right, so between the two, throttle and pedal assist, which one of them is better? Well, actually, in a lot of cases, you don't have to choose. There's a lot of bikes that have both features on the same bike. As of now, there's plenty on offer from companies like Pedego, Easy Motion, Surface 604, etc. Between the throttle and pedal assist, I personally prefer pedal assist. Of the bikes that we carry, the pedal assist options have plenty of power and plenty of range for most uses, and they have the added benefit of using a lot more muscle than sitting down and turning your wrist. Throttles still have a really important place though. I know that I myself, I use full throttle as often as I can when I'm done doing a range test on an electric bike. I'll pedal assist myself all the way until the battery dies, I'll replace it with another battery and then just throttle all the way back because, hey, I'm tired. I just want to get the day over with at that point. And hey, let's face it, a throttle is just lots of fun. That's our take on it. What do you think? What kind of system do you have on your electric bike and how do you like it? Sound off in the comment section below. And if you'd like, leave a comment for another system or topic that you'd like to see covered in a video such as this one. Uh, if you'd like, you can shop for an electric bike on your very own on our website, bluemonkeybicycles.com. You can support this channel directly by going to our Patreon page. And I'll see you later. I got nothing to say after that, so I'll just say see you later. <laughs>